fuck. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. <laughs> It's the same airwag go low Every time I look G It's all a bunch of offended uptight pussies Society wears your balls Political correctness done turns you soft It's like you can't even tell a joke These damn days it's like a good joke Some floppy dildo you pussies can't take Just get ready okay The shit talking cunts don't give a fuck What your gender or race, gender or race. So bitch you're pissed off for what She's a pussy and this the shit talking cunts on uh. So bitch, you're pissed off for what? Cause he's a pussy and this the shit talking cunts on. Uh. Rub some ball! The shit talking cunts podcast. With your host, Irish Odeo. And overtime often. Sit back, spark up, and enjoy. It's time for the Shit Talking Guns Podcast. What's up, motherfuckers? I'm your host, Irish O'Neill. I'm joined by my lovely, lovely, very on time, dare I say early, co-host. Over time often. How you doing, buddy? Cheers, cheers to the good cunts out there. What's poppin'? Fucking handsome, fucking green-headed fuck. I love you. And uh, guys, we got a fucking returning cunt. If you don't know him, you, you better go back and start at episode one, and and because it's it's an ongoing saga. Okay, the 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 tale of the great Davin Aladdin. How you doing, sir? I'm awesome. I think you guys are the only podcast to have me on more than once ever. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys. Much love. We appreciate you, too. We're, you know, we we real respects real here, and we we're big fans of your Hell work. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Likewise, bro. I've been watching all of your shit on YouTube. You guys have been making moves. It's fucking awesome. Fucking right back at you, buddy. We're fucking. Hell yeah. It's it's where you know what it's like. It's like the uh, we're like fucking two Viking clans. Like you're you're, you're, you're yeah. the one in the north, and we're the one in the south. And it's Fuck like yeah. Every now and then, I'll 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 send a, a delegation to the, the north and be like, uh, the the king the king in the south uh, requests your aid, great champ in the north. Can you, can you send some of your trollish aid? He sends down some tro- he's, he's, troll. he's king of the trolls, so he's like in the north, and he he's he he has a his own <laughs> treaty with the the troll people, so he's like he controls the trolls and sends them down. Troll as part clansmen of his. north of the wall. <laughs> but wouldn't wouldn't Davin te- uh, technically uh, be an Ottoman though? <laughs> don't, I don't let anybody put their feet on me. I run this shit. <laughs> That's a good one. No, but, like anytime some shit goes down, I always hit you up because I'm like, this is these are two motherfuckers that definitely aren't gonna try to cancel me or be like, dude, that's wrong. You need to chill. I'm like, they'll always laugh. Like it's that's the good. thing, because even like, you know, I, I, I like to think of it like this, right? Like if and and uh, you know okay you know how like metal does like um they'll do like waves of metal like to describe like the eras or like uh if like uh, like if ari Shaf- oh, like the wwe yeah, yeah, yeah if, if, <laughs> okay per- okay perfect perfect so if ari shafir is like first wave fucking troll yeah if he's like, the you- attitude era then i'm ruthless aggression yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, you're, you're like following in the footsteps of like it. Hell so yeah. in, in the way where it's like even, even your most trollish, uh, quote unquote, shitty or cuntiest thing, it's still at the end of the day, it's not something you're gonna like die on a sword on because it's like I'm, I'm just, I'm just ha- like la- having a laugh. It's like it's, it's literally the to bring it full circle. It's like your first in- your interaction that sparked it all off with that fucking dude that had a problem with the Nyla Rose thing where he was, yeah. where he, where he was like, he was like, if you're gonna be transphobic, you can just leave. And you were like. You're like, hey man, I'm just, I'm having a good time. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. Dude. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything like that. Like, yeah, there's it's like, all there's... good. I apologize. And where it was literally, it's just like, yes, did I, do I say some fucked up stuff? Yes. But you're like, I'm just, I'm just laughing to myself. I don't mean anyone any harm. Hell, if you're gonna be a cunt bro. about it though, like, we, like we can go yeah. there. It's just not gonna be good for you. But... Exactly. I was talking about this with one of my friends, Sergio, recently, and he was telling me that a lot of people he witnesses do shit like this, like they're mean and they do shit out of like angriness. He said, "I'm one of the most happy people he knows." And the thing with me is, I'm just so happy having such a good time. I've never and I'm seen you hard. get angry. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I'm having a good time. And when I go on a tirade, it's usually because someone's trying to ruin my good time. Yeah. And I'm like, no. You're not doing this. I'll fucking go to war because I'm gonna keep laughing. <laughs> yeah, and, and and that's the thing is like your good time is like ultimately really not that harmful to anyone else. Yeah. Like you know you're not you're not uh, 
trying to cause harm to Nyla Rose or any of the people you troll. You're not trying to, it's, it's literally just, it's internet shit. And it's like, I'm right. sorry if you get your titties in a twister over internet shit outside of like doxing, which like, I don't, to my knowledge, you've never done like with anyone really. They've I've tried to dox you. Yeah, you've yeah, been doxed. I've never doxed anyone. But like yeah. outside of doxing, it's like, you know, if you're just yeah. saying shitty stuff on the internet, it's like, you can not be on the internet or you can block someone. Yeah, dude, we're, we're from the old internet. Do you think Joe like, Rogan reads every fucking comment? Fuck yeah, no. he no. doesn't read he, his got I he, yeah. he probably he definitely he, reads him. He claims he doesn't, but he definitely does. Same I'm sure he reads it. some of the like maybe every now and then. You know, if you pop on Instagram and your posts like you see a thing, you might look at it. But yeah, I you know, I mean, does he? Do you ever see Joe Rogan respond to anyone? Hell no. no. Maybe maybe a friend, maybe like a <laughs> yeah. close friend that's like a, a shared account kind of thing. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it's it's just it's people people get their fucking panties in a bunch like so quickly and over dumb shit. And it's just like, yeah, just, dude. just have a laugh and fucking relax, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I've always thought I can somewhat kind of like organize my shit to where I keep the like crazy offensive shit one place. And then I can keep my business somewhere else. Like my Instagram yeah. has always kind of been like just business. Like yeah. it's, there's like not a lot of me featured there. It's like my products, people using my products, just trying to fucking promote that shit. So I try to keep it separate. Now it's kind of been coming back to fucking haunt me a little bit. Cause I'm yeah, sure, you reach out to me about that. Yeah, dude. So I've been trying to like grow my brand. Obviously, like the, I started doing the dab of swords, like making these sword dabbers, like fucking yeah. probably fucking like five, sick. like five years ago. Thank you, man. It yeah, all started he does, like all kinds of like fantasies, like like Kingdom Hearts. He's got, there's like Keyblades. There's fucking yeah, uh, there's it's Halo. Fucking, uh, shit, like Cloud Sword. Cloud Sword. Final like Final Fantasy. It's fucking you got sick. The fucking Infinity Blade. We gotta hook my man uh, Joey up with some uh, Viking inspired shit. You play Dabber. Yeah, I fucking I made the axe from Valhalla from Assassin's Creed. I have oh, like one of those cool. left, I think. Yeah, but so like I started this shit like maybe five years ago because I dropped my my mixtape, Dab and Aladdin mixtape. I was like, I need merch for the mixtape, so I went online and I I just found them in a catalog from fucking China. So I hit them up and I told the Chinese people to put my logo on it. They're like, oh, you have to order so many to do logo. I'm like, no, I'll give you like an extra whatever, like money. Just fucking make it. So then they make them for me. I start getting all these swords, putting my logo on them. They like blow up more than anything else I've done. And I'm actually making money off it. So <laughs> you like, Davin yeah. went the fucking hip hop route where he was like, it, it, he's like, you know, I could make it big as a hip hop artist and sell merch or I could sell really sick merch and then off that be a hip hop artist. Yeah. Yeah. That you got to make the money, dude. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Like, so I fucking do the merch that starts going. And then I do that for a few years and there's like some people giving me shit cause it was from China, but for the most part, it was like, cool. And then, uh, I do the Boston freedom rally, like maybe like three years ago. It's like the weed festival in Boston Commons. It's a good time. So I go there and I have my booth and I'm selling my dab swords. We're doing a lot of business. It was a good fucking weekend. It was sick. I go there early in the morning, drive my truck through the commons, set up the booth. So then like they had run over some, a couple like, hippies. Exactly. <laughs> and then they'd have fucking a bunch of like weed celebrities there, which like, I don't know who the fuck these people are. They'd yeah, from, that's, like, that's such a common shows <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah. So then like one, this old fucking Dude, guy. Dude, Rory Backenfield. Yeah. Fucking, he was on High Times Magazine back in 1984, dude. Yeah, I have no idea who these people Great. are. So then this fucking one guy comes by my booth, and, like, everybody's freaking out. They're like, oh, my God, is this, this famous? Well, he's famous, he's famous. His name was, his name was like, Frenchy Cannoli. I'm not even kidding you. That's this guy's fucking name. And it's this old fucking Fuck guy. Some old guy who makes fucking hash. So everybody's losing their shit over him. So I just figure, all right, good for business. Get one of my products in this guy's hand and take a picture. That's obviously the fucking move here. So I go over to him. I'm like, hey, hey, come over to my booth. I'll give you a dabber. Yeah. So he comes over. I give him a couple swords. He, like, puts one in his, like, jar of hash and starts swirling it around. I take a video, post it on Instagram, tag him. It starts getting views. <laughs> then the next morning I go on and I see that he has reposted the video and he also tagged me in the video. Nice. And then, nice. yeah, but then this fucking piece of shit says, these remind me of Happy Daddy Dabbers, which is another fucking brand. So he tags that guy. 
Then this guy starts coming on my page and talking all this shit to me, saying I copied his designs and we're not the same and I'm not ours. I didn't copy shit. You copied them from a video game. China stole them back from you and I bought them from China. I'm the only one in this situation who's not a fucking thief. I fucking bought something and put my name on it and went to fucking sell it. So this guy yeah. starts talking all it's this like, shit. It's like, did you, it's like, yeah, did, sir, did you, did you have the rights alone to yeah. make a uh, Kingdom Hearts' as Keyblade on? A dab yeah. like did you, you make bought Final that from Fantasy. You am bought I, that. I... You bought that yeah, from what Disney. If, what if like, fucking Square Enix comes and fucking sues you? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, I, it's it's just because like like they make Bob Marley um rolling papers, but the Bob yeah. I found this out from a friend. But the Bob Marley papers aren't uh it's not actually owned by the Bob Marley family. Damn, like some Jam Rock is getting any money say. from that. Yeah. No. But Man, so like oh, they yeah. bought the rights to it, but it's like you know I mean I, I don't I don't think this guy was like oh let me specifically go buy the rights to making those things. So it's you like can't. so you it's like by that Nin- nature you can't steal. Nintendo them. isn't going to license drug tools. Yeah, so not to like, mention everything gets stolen in China illegal. anyway. So. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> this guy starts talking all this shit, and then like I'm like whatever, I just block him because I was getting my shit from China and making money. I'm not going to let this guy fuck up my business. So then. About a year ago, my good friend Aaron, who I've known like my, like forever because we grew up in the same town, he's like a he's like a welder, engineer, mechanic type guy. He came to me and he was like, "Dude, I can help you. Like, and we can make these tools here, and they'll be worth a lot more money, and we can do this." So I was like, "Word." So I started working with him about a year ago, and through the last year, we've started making like really fucking dope tools here. Yeah. Like all now, I can do customs for people. I can do I can like they're worth more money. I've been making more. It's fucking dope. So I'm like. All right, word. Now I'm making shit popping. I'm like, let me go back and check on my fucking old enemy to see how this guy is doing. Because now I'm gonna slay him. Out of business or has some? He so broke his. Go. He has a fucking. <laughs> he, has, he has fucking stitches in his fucking neck and in his back. <laughs> he can't fucking make swords anymore because he's a fucking cripple. Because he's fucking making them on a fucking anvil with a fucking hammer like an idiot, and now he's fucking has a bunch of shit wrong with his spine. And he's I, like by I hand use, hammering out dab. Yeah. So now people are talking shit to me now. It's not. Because, it's like, dude, you're not making actual like yeah. real swords. What do you yeah, like, dude? We, we fucking, did he, wait, did he have, was he using like full size tools or did he yeah, have like he's a cute little tiny ones and he was like, tink, yeah. tink. <laughs> I <laughs> wish he had a little, he's little, a tiny, blacksmith. little tiny yeah. tongs that he just dips in a little fucking cup of water. <laughs> Dude, how, how embarrassing is that you cripple yourself making fake tiny swords? Like you're not even making like real weapons. You hurt I mean, yourself by, making by that uh, by that ratio. So he probably could have made like two real swords in real life and then had to done the same damage. Yeah, 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 pretty much. So he he's fucking retarded now. There are actually some people talking shit to me now because I use technology like a smart person from the future would, and we have we CAD design them. Wait, like, we- wait, wait. They're talking shit like in the sense of like, oh, you're not doing it by hand. Yeah, and I am kind of doing it by hand. Like, we fucking design them on a computer. Dude. We get them water jet cut out of sheet metal. Then we pop them out of the sheet metal, grind them by hand, do everything by hand on sanders and on a fucking bench grinder. And then we fucking laser the shit on, and we torch it to add color. And we that... do all this shit. So, like, you can't tell me we're not doing shit because I'm not a retard and don't want to cripple myself with an anvil. That like, is the that is the, the faggiest argument that they could make. And I'm going to say this as someone who was a fag who did Viking reenactment. <laughs> and I was in a group who was real, like, everything has to be 100% historically accurate, which is fair. It definitely made it cooler. You know, there was no dickhead there yeah. um, in a nice outfit and then ruining it by wearing Nikes. Um, and, and everything that we wore was 100% accurate. But you you know what I mean? There is a certain level that you can real really refine down to the cuntiness, right? Where you can be like, well, are the clothes you're wearing 100% linen? Or is it like 80% yeah. linen, 20 cotton because it needs to be 100% linen? You go, okay. And then you go, well, did you hand stitch that? Because <laughs> they didn't have machines. So then you got to hand stitch it. And it's just like, hey, man, we don't, we're not actual Vikings. We don't live in Viking times. I go, I yeah. think the public will not notice if I just do it by machine. Yeah. 
And 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 you could just fucking if you want to attribute it to role playing or whatever, like gauge it and just be like, oh yeah, no, I did this by hand, even though you really did it, or you know, whatever. As long as it, it's pretty much correct, and it's like, but but that's that's for, that's for something like, <laughs> like that where the whole like purpose is like it needs to be a hundred percent historically accurate. Like there isn't a historical uh dab sword that you like. Yeah. Well, they made this one forged forged on Mount Fiji with fucking like virgin tears. It's like no dickhead. Does it work? Is it is it good quality? Yes. Okay, then suck a fuck. Yeah, if anything, we're like advancing with technology. If back in the day they had machines that made swords, I'm sure they used those, but they didn't, and now we do. So everyone wants I don't to go understand. back to like handcraft and handcraft, and it's like, hey, the people that did handcrafting for thousands and thousands of years, very useful skill, but they all wanted a machine. Yeah. Like, like, hey, you remember, I don't know if you, you ever, did you ever see Fiddler on the Roof? They were fucking, they lost their goddamn mind when the one dude gets the goddamn, like, uh, uh, sewing machine. And he's like, yeah, yeah, look at it. Does it fucking, it's like, they're all like, what the fuck is this? That's cr-. like, they, they were so psyched to not have to do shit by hand. Yeah. I, I literally replaced this guy with a machine, like his whole job, because now he's fucking retired. He retired himself, and now I just replaced him with a machine because he was like the biggest dab sword guy really out yeah. there, and he's the only other guy making them out of titanium, really, because it's really hard to craft titanium. So mm. all these people use stainless steel, but you really shouldn't be doing it with stainless steel because stainless steel lets off like fucking fumes when you get it up to over 700 degrees, which they argue uh. like you're not going to dab at 700 degrees, but some people Yeah, do. you never know. Like, it's still, it's yeah. also just like... You know, over long term, you're presu- pres- presumably going to be dabbing for a long period of your life. You go, mm, even if I don't hit 700, let's say I only hit like 400, 400 still over like, you know, 10 years of smoking. It's still probably going to give up a cumulative, like not greatness. Yeah, exactly. That, that's going to edge what? At least maybe one year off my life. But it's like, yeah, eh, that's still one year. Yeah. Dude, I got this customer that lives right near this guy. I'm just playing the victim now, which is hilarious because like three people yesterday alone mentioned this guy to me, like just in different conversations, like, oh, you're stuck. Like this. I worked out a drop shipping deal with this one guy who has a shitload of followers. So he posted and gets sales and I ship them. And then people in the comments are like, oh, he's remind me of happy daddy dabbers. And I just want to comment so bad. Oh, really? What happened to him? Does, does he still make dabbers? You, you know what, what you happened? Is he ready? fucking you know, crippled? You know what but you I'm just being nice. He, because he's he's the only one in what like this tri-state area maybe that did that. But I promise you, there's a, probably this guy honest. is from Washington. This happy guy, so he Washington fought, State. State, yeah, dude. So this one guy I, told me I promise me that, you, between here and Washington State, you could find three other people on Instagram that make dab swords that are are similar. Oh, I've found should, all of them, yeah. and if you go to any just, of their websites, send, it takes you to dabinaladdin.com. Anybody who makes dab swords and doesn't own their website name, I buy it and it takes you to dabinaladdin.com. You can go to any of their fucking names. Just go look up dab swords on Instagram. This guy, he still owns his domain, even though he didn't fucking, he does, it's, it's blank now. So uh. he, I don't have him. But, any, but anyway, somebody hit me up yesterday. This guy ordered a custom sword from us. And uh, he was telling me that he wanted to go to this guy's shop, but he stopped making swords and he's happy he found me. And I'm just like, yeah, that guy really doesn't like me and used to talk a bunch of shit to me just because I was getting swords from China. But now I learned how to make them all here and blah, blah, blah. This guy's ordered so many swords for me. Just this weekend, he ordered like four swords and they're all they're pretty expensive. So it's going fucking good. But anyway, so then aside from like this drama, I'm like, I need to fucking get into stores now. Cause like I want to get into stores. So there are two grow shops. I don't really go to like any smoke shops, but I was planning on calling them and trying to get into there. But then there's like grow shops around here that I go to a lot for like weed growing supplies. And they, I always talk Have you to thought them. about sponsoring podcasts. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You, know, like you, you could, you could just oh. refine, find like po- real popular podcasts, yeah. especially if they're like weed related stuff and just yeah. be like, send them like a free sword or two and just be yeah. like, well, hey guys, I, I, like, dude, I fucking, so I used just to maybe send drop out a plug on like an episode kind of thing. Yeah. I, I used to send out a lot of free merch when it was from China, but now because it's made here, it's like harder to produce. So I haven't been giving out any free stuff like like uh, what I'm kind of doing now. My plan is uh, I'm going to work with like really popular influencers. Like right now I'm working with my friend, Harry Dabs. He's pretty mm. popular on Instagram and like I'm making him his own dabber and I'm going to sell it and like he's going to get some money from it. And like uh, he wants like a broom dabber. So we're designing Mm. a a broom dabber and then I'm going to mass produce those and sell those for him. And that's going to be fucking dope. 
But uh, yeah, so I was talking to these like grow shops. One guy near me like keeps saying he fucking wants shit. And like then so then I go into the grow shop last week and he was actually straight up with me. And he said that he was going to stock my stuff. But the reason why he's scared is because of the racist stuff that I post on Snapchat. And like, do no one's going to go get a dab sword. And then like my I took my Snapchat off my Instagram. I've been taking a lot of like the it's been trying you know to I mean? keep it's separated. A, it's, a, it's a it's a reasonable business concern, but. I, I I think your point is just in the sense where it's like, you know, I don't go if I was going into a weed store like, OK, the Bob Marley papers. Right. Yeah. I didn't look up who owns them. It wasn't until someone like told me I was like, oh, cool. But like, you know, I mean, I didn't like I don't look at a I, I, I didn't when I bought my bong, I didn't go. Um, What was the name of the artist that made it? I want to make sure he didn't say uh, the end. Yeah, I want to make sure that he has never said the N word ever and is not transphobic. I, it's it's it, to me, it's the same logic of and this is how I break it down to people. And I don't know, I guess it depends. But it feels like it falls in line with like the what I call like the Michael Jackson theory where Earth clause where it's like, OK, let's assume Michael Jackson did do all the stuff he's accused of doing right. If he did that, I don't, I, I don't, uh, that's terrible. He should have gone to jail, blah, blah, blah. I don't care if he was fisting children in the recording booth while recording Thriller. <laughs> you could not look me in the eyes and tell me that Thriller on a music level, on a music level is bad. Even yeah. if while he was just blasting my Thriller, Thriller. <laughs> just, I, I'm telling you, the music is fucking Rest perfect. He would yeah. still be a bastard, wow. but like yeah. I, I, I'm still gonna listen to the music. They still play it on the well. radio. Ted Nugent, I say this all the time, fucking dickhead. But Stranglehold fucking rips, dude. Yeah, rips. So, I don't, I don't and, know if I've ever heard. Yeah, it. you're right. You played them in my fucking ear for weeks on end. <laughs> it's a good opener tune. It's a good opener uh, tune. Um, but yeah, the the fucking guy said to me. He was like, he, he told me that he cracks up when he opens my Snapchat. He was like, dude, I think it's hilarious. I just yeah. am like scared to have your stuff in the store. But then he told me that he does want it. And then he keeps telling me that he wants to stock it, but he wants to hang out with me on one of his off days first. And he wants me to come over his house. I'm like, dude, who the fuck are you? Harvey Weinstein? Like, I don't have this fucking time to go like, hang listen, out with you on an off day. I don't know what he's listen, trying to do. We can fucking, uh, we can, can fucking, out there, bro. We can solve this problem, you know, get, your, get your swords <laughs> in my store. <laughs> he's like just how how willing are you to munch munch some trying fucking to unsheath my sword man first pussy. he's like he's like oh, yeah. i need to eat some man pussy first dude fucking weird dude then the other <laughs> store the other store one of the guys there like unfriended me on facebook because after i sent my profile picture to blue lives matter and then he stopped talking to me but he works at the store but then after he did that the owner of the store hit me up saying he wants to stock swords and like told oh. me exactly which ones he wants and how many and then he just ghosted me so See, i don't know if, if this mm. dude went to him and just ratted but it doesn't even matter Possible. because all these stores are going to be out of business in a year anyway you know so there's you not even any any what? use to being in these fucking stores. worst case scenario you could uh <laughs> you could just do some shit where try and try and like ghost like almost do it like you're a ghost writer thing like lemony snicket and it's like oh no i'm not this this uh, joe like be like you know joe's not actually associated with dava like you know what i mean that's yeah. not that's, that's, i could that's, just that's make a, a second brand and pretend to be competing with myself and then be like yo we actually hate dab and aladdin and we're, yeah, we're, actually, we're actually ran our... by a black <laughs> trans woman and we hate dab and aladdin so if you want to stock our stuff <laughs> You'll be directly supporting uh, artists that did this as opposed to fucking <laughs> that phony. <laughs> yeah. So, but so uh, these stores were like pretty much like it seems like, dude, and the thing is, is I've been in stores in Scotland, Denmark, England, Hawaii, <laughs> California, and New Mexico. That's a good market to reach out to is just fucking outside of the U.S. too. Yeah. They, I've never been in any stores in New England because everybody here knows me. Mm. And just knows that I'm a fucking piece of shit. Right. And has heard stuff Middle about of the me. You, dude, and, you need to target the South too, because not for yo, nothing. Yeah, like, dude. you know, you're not racist, but you're perceived as racist. So let yeah. them racist buy your products. Yeah. Oh, dude, they do. Hey, dude, so I, I, mean, I mean, oh, am I wrong? I mean, oh, right. no, dude, 100%. It's, I fucking, you know what it's, like? Uh, it's like when you see the picture of like there's the crazy Trump rallies, and then you see that there's like a couple of black dudes that are selling Trump merch and stuff. And, and you ask them, like, what are you doing here? And they're like, Oh, we don't uh, give a shit about this stuff, but we're we're still gonna get that paper, and it's oh, like yeah. respect. 
I'm still curious to know what what it is that on Snapchat that has him cheesing, but yet doesn't want to put your uh, stuff in store. Like, it's, like okay, well, I so post a lot of funny across stuff, on the black guy's lawn. No, I've never done anything like that. Like, no, I, know. I post like, I mean, on my fucking Snapchat today, I posted the memory from a year ago, and the memory from a year ago is I got a toy helicopter with Kobe Bryant. And uh, oh, it keeps. Oh yeah, it's a toy helicopter with Kobe Bryant. I saw that face. came up. It was like it had been a year yeah. since you had done it when you did that. In the yeah, water. yeah, it dude, was. dude. The hilarious dude, that video thing. is so. And and this is this. I may maybe I'm a piece of shit. This video is so fucking funny. It just. I posted that online. I tagged all of the basketball players in it last just, year. Just the seriousness of your life. <laughs> I'm I'm it. calling out Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade. LeBron James, and then just the way you just fucking yeeted it. It's just I got a I got a toy helicopter. Oh, and I I did a Kobe Bryant challenge. I called out Dwayne Wade, Shaquille O'Neal, and someone else. I think LeBron, LeBron James. Yeah. yeah, and then I I threw it at the wall. In he my just hurt, dude. He just turns and just fucking <laughs> yeet. The wall. He's like Kobe. Dude, and if you want to see a if you want to see a hilarious video, I follow this guy on YouTube. His name is German in Venice, and he's just a super chubby German guy who just goes around California and takes videos. And he's not <laughs> trying to be funny. He's just the guy from California who's super. He's the, a guy from Germany who's super happy to be in California. And he mm -hmm. decided to go to the Kobe Bryant crash site last week oh on the day. God. And okay, question: Do they have something there? Like I assume yeah. they have to, okay, they got some like little thing that's like this is where it happened. They have like rocks that make eight to 24 and whatever uh -oh. number his daughter was and then like people can go up there and like they hike up there and take selfies with the kobe bryant where he died which is kind of fucked up honestly <laughs> they're like we're gonna go to exactly where he died and take a selfie wearing a kobe bryant I, jersey and that's just like cool to them you know i well, actually went to the oj murder weird, scene right when I was because in we're, we're we're quote unquote dicks but it's like i would never do that just seems so trashy and yeah. disrespectful it's like would you go take a selfie at your friend's grave i mean maybe I, and if that's if that's what? i actually put a dab in aladdin sticker at the oj murder scene when i was in <laughs> california i have a picture of it I, See, I wait, to, wait 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 iris did you really just ask would you really take a selfie at your best friend's grave do you know who you do a fucking podcast with nigga <laughs> no, I, Shout out all my niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I mean, get it going on my dead homies. I, 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 well, that's that's why I started to walk it. I started to walk it back after I said it because I was like, I was like, okay, like I mean, if that's if that's your thing or way that you fair, I was like, fair enough. Maybe that's how people grieve. So who am I to judge that? I'll I'll I'll, I'll walk that one back. Yeah. Um. Cool. Oh, just oh, and oh, for your reference, um, because you know, just so you understand. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait, this is why it's funny because we're eight seconds in and you haven't even said a fucking word yet. You're, it's already you're hilarious. You're holding a toy helicopter, <laughs> just champing a blunt. Hashtag the, the, Kobe challenge the, in the top yeah, right corner. <laughs> the, champ, the champ is just champing away. You got a, you get low key got a Ben Wa shirt on. It's <laughs> fucking. Wrestling dude, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, hey, I remember back. It's so like, I just the, the, it's like it's I almost like you should be an actor. How long you paused? It was the perfect pause. What's going on in this video? <laughs> this is the Kobe Bryant challenge. I'd like to nominate Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade, so and LeBron James. Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, simple but effective. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this, this fucking German guy I was talking about, he just, he wasn't trying to be funny, but he's playing like happy music, like walking up the <laughs> hill to the Kobe Bryant death site. And then he kept, he kept calling Kobe's daughter a different name. And then he issued an apology at the end of the video for calling her the wrong name the whole video. It was like, so funny. How do you set out to make that video and say the wrong fucking name? <laughs> <clears throat> But, oh my god oh man, it is great but Dude. yeah so i was like fuck all those stores i need to get on amazon basically i'm doing yeah. work on my website and i got on etsy and i've been doing good on etsy too i've been on there like a month and i'm mm. just trying to get as many places as possible i got banned on etsy 
Really? Yeah. Um. So, uh, quick. Yeah, quick anchor. So when I was doing the um, uh, when I was going to Dragon Con and stuff like that, I I was uh, one of the the costumes I would bring down was like a Kylo Ren one. And uh, the I what are you looking for? Uh, sure, that'd be great. Um, another uh, what I was looking for, uh, I I did like a Kylo Ren cosplay, and I had the uh the helmet, the full getup, like all that bullshit. The the helmet that they they make that has like the built-in voice changer is absolute shit. So I, I pulled that stuff out and I was like, I was trying to figure out a way that I could do it. And originally I had it where I had like a little mic that ran down into um and I specifically I, I had an iPhone 4 that I I'd kept from when I used to have it. That phone at the time had the lowest audio latency of any phone. Um, like just it was like real time. So I could, the voice, like if you download a voice changer app on your phone, most of our phones, even though they're like super powered, the latency is still so high. If you tried to like talk and do a voice changer, it's delayed. But the iPhone 4 uh, uh, was fucking like just zero latency. It was crazy. So you could real time voice changer. And there was a one that you could dial in like the exact Kylo Ren pitch and shit. And then I, it went out from that into like a little amplifier I had. And I would walk around. It was like, dude, I was getting some like real like head turns from people. People would be like, oh, cool, Kylo Ren. And I'd be like, what's going on, bitch? And and they'd be like, holy shit. And uh, then that stopped working. So I was like, okay, I was like, I got to think of a workaround. Because the the only alternative and what I ended up doing was just fucking, I would just have to fucking talk like this into the mic and the helmet. But that just feels douchey. Yeah. What I did on Etsy was I saw a guy who made a voice changer. It was like this little box. He had like hand fucking like, you know, soldered it, all the stuff that was like a voice changer. It had good reviews. They did like tagged Kylo Ren as like the voice changer thing and all that. And like I saw someone that had bought one. It was like worked fine. And I bought it. It was like 80 bucks. It's like 80 bucks. A little pricey. But it, yeah, what, now the look of it, I'm going to be honest, when you look at the product and, and again, he had great reviews. The look of it was like it looked kind of like some fucking Chinese knockoff shit where you're like, this just looks like a little black box with like, you know, the clearly where I plugged like the thing that in. That is the one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not even that. No, no, that that would be that's disrespectful oh. to how cheesy this this looked like literally just like a little black box with a knob on it and where you plug the thing in. And it was kind of like you, you saw where you put the battery in. You're like, I guess this is this is supposed to work. And I plugged it in. Well, first of all, I, I got it when it came in the mail and I could just hear like some bolts moving inside of it. So already off the rip, I'm like, okay, so the, the, the bolts holding it together, this guy did a lazy job like tightening it. And so like they had the washers and stuff had come loose inside of it. Yeah, I'd be so, pissed. It's, it's already falling apart and you just fucking got it. So I, and I try to use it and it's, it's just not really working like it's the it's not vo- even as good as the shit you already had the voice is like indistinguishable and it like it like you couldn't understand what i was saying and it just kind of sounds like muffled and i'm like that's not like at all and and the guy was like oh no you have to and he, first of all i got i i maybe i'm just a sensitive cunt i get i've been doing audio for like 10 years and so when like a guy tries to explain audio to me I, you know, I'm, Hey, I'm human. I've made, I make mistakes even, even every now and then, like even at gas occasionally, I'll like, I'm like, Oh fuck. I, I, I should turn this down a little bit, blah, blah, blah. But when someone explains it to me, like, okay, so like, this is how like an EQ works or like, this is how blah, blah, blah. it's like dog. I've worked with like Grammy winning artists, like suck my fucking cunt. <laughs> but I like, you know I mean? I just, I'm, I'm not going to express that in the moment, but yeah. Dude, and so this guy was like, and, and, I, and I had you to be like, listen, I, I, at a certain point, I was like, I was trying to be nice. And I was like, hey, man, I, like, I understand how audio works. And here's my problem is like, I, and this, this is where I, I fucked myself. But at the same time, like the problem was I, I had opened it up because at a certain point I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I opened the thing up and yeah, the, the, the bolts and washers had come loose. And like three of the soldering points were just so lazily done and sloppy. Like I looked at it and I'm not even an expert at soldering, but I can solder cables together. I can, I can do like basic level soldering shit. The soldering points were just so shitty and like bad looking. So I re-soldered everything, right? Close it up, fix the bolts. It works probably like 30% better, but it's still oh. just not so I reach out to the guy and I'm like, hey, listen, man, blah, blah, blah. It's not working, everything. And he's trying to describe like, oh, no, you need to do this with the uh, the volume knob or some shit. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm like, buddy, listen, I understand how audio works. I'm like, I opened it up. Blah, blah, blah. And, and then he immediately clung to like, oh, 
well, you opened it up. So that kind of like voids the warranty shit. And I'm like, dog, I paid you $80 for this thing. Like, I'm really trying to not get fucking nasty. What is this thing, right Apple? Now. Like, what the yeah. fuck? You can't. Yeah, you can't I, I'm, yeah. but you made it better for fucking. whoever he fucking sells it to. I, I started to, I'm like, what? dog, it arrived fucked up. I fixed it and made it better, and it still did not perform anywhere near how it was described. So I don't know if you gave a different product to these other people that reviewed it or whatever, but this was a fucking hunk of shit. So I want my fucking money back, but I was not going to get my money back because I opened it up and it, and it was fucked up. So when it arrived fucked up and broken and you walk me through 20 options of like, oh, this is what you're doing wrong. And none of it was even remotely intelligent shit at all. It's like, uh. Okay, so like, where was your option of, oh, just send it back? Like, no, dude, it was fucked up. I made it better, and it, it's better was still not good. So give my money. And the Etsy took his back, and mainly because I guess I was a fucking cunt. He just outright blocked me on everything. And then Etsy, like, uh, disabled my account for they like a year. They kicked you off because of that? Yeah, I've, I've since unlocked That's, it, but it took like yeah. a year. They had, to be, they had to be real, like, you know, we, we looked we a year later when I, because I tried to go buy something, and it was like, you're, you're, banned off here i didn't even know until like a year later when i buy some shit i was like so i went through the channels and they were real like well you know we'll give you like a warning this time and unlock it but like you know this is our time and i was like oh yeah fucking thanks damn fucking cunt yeah dude I've, and uh I, i've gotten two things taken down on etsy when i put up the infinity blade dabber i think it was it took it down because of the name and i just changed the name and then oh it's because it's because i put fortnite in the name at first and it automatically took it down mm. then i took fortnite out of the title and it let me put it back up and then i had the uh naruto zabuza dabber up there you could for name like it a fortress month. nighttime yeah <laughs> i should have or just some bullshit like that yeah and then the, the like fucking... keyblade you would be like key sword yeah yeah that Key that's saber. like pretty much what i do on the website yeah. the energy sword i call the beam it's, sword it's, it's really like dumb because it's like it's it, 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 at the end of the day let's just let's let's be bold ready let's go let's say you directly you cut out the middleman let's say dad was like you know what fuck it i'm gonna just directly rip off disney it's like disney mm. you're a cunt you make so much fucking money that the idea that dab and aladdin could ever really cut into your cut of things is yeah. like you're just a dickhead yeah <laughs> pretty much it's probably better it's probably better i make them because then they're gonna get high using a disney sword and be like yo i'm gonna go watch a fucking disney movie now or yeah something. like you know? you know what i mean it, it, you know what the worst you should have to do if they find out you you, you pay them 10 percent, but at the yeah. at the end of the day is the like you know the 10 percent of what you're making paying to disney even if we add that up over, let's say, thou a thousand people in America do are doing it. Does that really, like, make a difference for your, your spending budget, Disney? Yeah, no. Fucking it asshole. It means a lot more in, in, in uh, my fucking I, pocket. Dude, I love, like, I, I, I'm not going to pretend like I understand stocks and we I don't even have, like, a thing prepared for this, but just, like, the GameStop thing that's happening, so fucking funny. I love it. Yeah. Fuck the corporations. And maybe it's just because I beat Cyberpunk. And I sided with Johnny Silverhand, but I'm telling you, fuck the corporations. I'm about it, dude. How long did it take you to beat that game? Um, I okay. I would say that I played it from the day it came out until about a week ago, and oh. and I did everything in the game. Damn. Every side thing, every little like police, uh, like take out these gang members. I did everything across the map, hundred percent. My ADD is way too bad to complete anything in that fucking game. I just start and I'm like, you, you know so what you have to do? There. It's it's hard. Like, you pick a section of the map and you yeah. pick a direction and you go. I'm just gonna work through these points. The closest one, each one, you just keep. You got to tackle a zone at once. It's fucking overwhelming for the first twenty hours of gameplay. I'm not gonna lie. It is a large game. Overall, yeah. I gave that game like a seven out of ten. I think it was it was very it was satisfying. I felt like I got my money's worth. It wasn't necessarily as advanced or graphically sick as I thought it was hyped to Dude, be. they made it seem like it was gonna be so much in that game. And then you start playing it and you're like, oh, it's kind of like a somewhat kind of like linear experience. You know what I mean? It's just kind of yeah, it's kind of straightforward. It's it's you know, it's it's almost it's, like a you know what it is? It's like a is that shit, is that shit like open world. It's, yeah, it's, but not really. Is, you know what it is? Oh, it's a it's a first person um Grand Theft Auto. But no, it's not even Grand Theft Grand Theft Auto. It's like a you know what Saints Row is to Grand Theft Auto? It's kind of like that relationship to Saints Row, 
but cyberpunk and futuristic. And I don't mean in a bad way because Saints Row is a great game. It's great dope. games, but it's kind of like that vibe where it's you. It's Grand Theft Auto where it's you know you're you Rogue have sort of for life. Yeah, you start from not from nothing. You got you basically in the game a fucking legend. And there's the story's actually know. really good. The story's like, amazing. I thought the story and the writing is fucking off the hook. Like so, you can play online. And it's it's no single no no yet. not yet. There's there's a multiplayer. Oh, there's DLC and a multiplayer coming, but because of all of the pushback they received at launch because of their stuff, they they they're gonna push that back so they can focus on refining and getting it closer to what they promised. Gotcha. It's a good game. People should stop being fucking cunts about it. Um, I I think there's a legitimate claim that like it wasn't as refined as it was pushed out to be, but. That was obvious by the fact it kept getting delayed like four or five times. Yeah, it's true. but it's it's ultimately sto- story wise, I don't have any complaints. I think the story is, is amazing graphically. Feels a little dated for where we're at, but it probably should really be a game that came out for this new gen, but like in a year or two, so they could refine the graphics even more. Because I bet on P, I've seen some things of what it looks like on PC, and it looks fucking like with a real gaming PC and fucking souped up. Shit looks nice. But I, dude, I played through running around with a fucking samurai sword and cut motherfuckers in like one hit. It was great. On like a oh, yeah. dude, it, it was a great game. I liked it. You think um, Halo's gonna suck when it comes out? Because that's another one that's gotten delayed twenty fucking times, and they change the producers it, and it shit. It might, man, because it's it's. You know what it is? Halo. I feel like is at a point now where there's so many Halo games where you just kind of go like, it's it's like, yeah, it, it's, it's but it does days are have over. the same plug as like Call of Duty, where like. You know, at a certain point, like, and I say this with every Call of Duty, every Call of Duty, I'm like, I'm not going to buy this Call of Duty. And somehow, whether it's like there's a real like discount or something like I, I, I was so fucking firm that I was not going to buy Black Ops. And then there was like a sale that was like over a weekend at one point that was like 50 percent off. You got you could get Black Ops for like 30 bucks. And me and my my two boys that like play games together all the time, they were like, like, ah, I kind of want to grab it. And it was like right when they did the thing where like, oh, now Black Ops is linked with Modern Warfare and they like all launch within like the same thing and interchangeable and the guns like they do this whole like fucking connected thing. And I was like, OK, fuck it. I guess we're getting it. I bought it and I couldn't even play it because it kept fucking up my Xbox Series X. And really? And people kept telling me that it's going to brick it. Like did there's you... a certain amount of times that if you play every time I would, there was one level on the campaign. Have they updated it since then? Yeah, yeah. Now they have, but I lost okay. all the progress I had in the campaign. So I have to of start course. over. 76 but, did that when it first launched, Fallout 76, where it would just every, it would fucking brick my Xbox over and over. And I finally was like, I can't play this for a good month because yeah. I, I was like, I'm going to fry my Xbox. The only thing I could play was zombies. I couldn't play multiple multiplayer and i couldn't play campaign and now the they zombies is really good all. though this is the first yeah. zombies i've ever really played and like me and my friends could fucking crush a 20 rounder no real problem we've got up to like oh, yeah. round 40 after there it gets dicey dude do i fucking look um, like i'm about to suck my own cartoons dick that's fucking hot dude oh no, yeah it's get, like, it on, it's like get it on they're probably gay japanese dudes jerking it to this right now <laughs> You, you, get it on, brother. You look like a uh, Quato or whatever it is from Total Recall, but like the Dab and Aladdin version. Dude. Open your mind. In my <laughs> cock. But uh, I, uh, I fucking didn't even get to the point of all the whole. The, story the point is, I, Amazon I fucking rambled you. earlier. Yeah, that's basically the yeah. point of the story. Is I fucking applied to Amazon. I went through all their fucking loopholes. I video chatted with some guy from a hotel in Texas yep. that they make you do. I let them send me some fucking what, postcard. And and, and and really, even the guy when you video chatted from the company could not help you, like. No, well, that wasn't to get me on. Like, oh. that was before I got denied. So, like, gotcha. I went through all these things. They accepted me. They, they like, took my money and everything. And then before you sell a product, you have to put in, like, the brand. So I was going to register my brand that mm-hmm. I'm the owner of, Dab and Aladdin. So I put in, like, my real name and my brand and uh-huh. shit. And then you have to wait for them to accept it. And then two days later, I get a fucking email back that says, hello from Amazon brand registry. We are writing to inform you that your application to enroll the brand Dab and Aladdin in brand registry is declined. We reserve the right to decline applications where we have identified that the applicant has been involved in abusive conduct on our websites or is related to an account that was used for such abusive conduct. If you believe we made an error, please contact us. So I did, obviously, because I've never yeah. engaged in any abusive behavior anywhere in my fucking life. I don't yeah. know what this is At about. The very least on Amazon. Like if, yeah, if they, definitely if, never on Amazon. If they want to really ex- like fucking try and uh, 
pull at straws and go like, you know, you're trolling on Twitter and Instagram. If they want to call that abusive fair, but it's like you're not Twitter or Instagram. So it's like, you know, that yeah. might be a character, so to speak. It's like, yeah, 100%. Now, now there's a simple enough workaround. You could easily just start another uh, company and, yeah. then, and then do it like that and bullshit. But yeah, it's it's just annoying. It's just like it's kind of scary because what this means is that there's some list that nobody can see and they can just ban you from anywhere. There is like, already a level what of else? censorship happening in Biden's America. Yeah. Look, this is not a political podcast. Yeah. I hate Biden. I hate Trump. I hate every one of these motherfuckers. They don't give a fuck oh. about us. Likewise. But they they one of one of his executive orders was the it, it and and people freaked out. There this you know. I'm willing to meet halfway in the in the middle on this oh. one that maybe it's not a complete censorship, but they, they at least on any kind of like formal paperwork, you can no longer refer to um, COVID as the China flu or like the Wuhan flu or any kind of shit like that. And it's like, OK, fa- and I understand if fair enough, you want to do it in the terms of uh, be more medically precise and call it like, you know, COVID-19 or whatever, just fine. But it it is inherently still a censorship and this this is the thing maybe maybe i'm just a nitpicky semantical cunt but like to me it's like what you say matters and like hey what people have pointed out when i've said shit that's hypocritical and i go you know what fair enough i may try to rationalize it but if i can't logically rationalize it then hey I, i'm wrong and so like there's this shit i got into an argument with a guy where uh you know there is a quote going around this is the thing. I, I someone showed me a thing where they said like, "Oh, this actually isn't a thing." But I've I've seen it both ways. I don't really know what to believe on the internet. I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what to believe at all. But I saw a thing that uh, uh, supposedly Biden said a thing to the effect of like, uh, "I will not use executive orders because only a, uh, the only person who does that is a dictator." And yet he there's also a statistic that says he's done like 30 in his first week. And so it's like I got an argument with the guy who's like, oh, well, he's just replacing Trump's uh, Trump, some of Trump's policies. And I go, fair enough. But I go, but with with whose policies? It's his yeah. own. Like there's not a def- there's not a default setting. And I, I said, granted, this, and this is a nice guy I am. I said, granted, you know, maybe compared to Trump, it might feel like a default setting, but it's yeah. still inherently Biden's policy. So you know what he didn't say i won't use executive orders except for the ones that get rid of these trump ones i'm just saying uh, say what you mean it's you it's gonna be technical it's it is his policy because it's an obama policy which was his policy yeah you know yeah, but so. but, and, but that's right. what i mean it was just like it's like and, and i even told the guy go now if you want to argue the level of severity or how much it matters to you that level of hypocrisy that he's showcased that's fine. Like if that doesn't, if, if you don't feel like that's that hurtful of a hypocrisy, that's fair. But I was like, it's still being hypocritical. If you say, I'm not going to do this and you do it. Yeah. And, and uh, dude, I, I've been, I've been so fired up this week. Like fucking, I, I've been, I, I've actually been like, I got so annoyed when, when, when you messaged me about that thing with the Amazon stuff. Cause it was like dude. that, the, the, the censorship of the China thing. And then like, dude, I, the, this is even a censor thing, sh- ship thing, but like 30 minutes before we did this show, I was like, I have all my stuff so I can do my taxes. I've done my taxes on TurboTax for the last eight years. I mean, they're like, Hey dude, this is your eighth year fucking doing TurboTax. Hell yeah. And it's always been a simple process, dude. Never been a problem. Pretty reasonably priced. This is how nice of a guy I am because I'm about to trash TurboTax. I'm giving him a free plug. Dude, first of all, I'm getting fucked this year on taxes. I do not make a lot of money, despite what you might think. Like, not enough that I feel like I should have to ever owe. If I, 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 I feel like if you, uh, mm-hmm, I feel like if you earn somewhere under like 70 or 80,000. I feel like really like eight. I feel like once you start getting in the 80 to 100,000 range, like then I think, you know, the tax are under that. I mean, you're not really like making a, or saving a lot of money. You know what I mean? And unless you're like real fucking penny pinching, I feel like at most people, if you're making under 80,000, you're like, you're paying your bills fine and stuff, but you're, you're just sort of living a middle-class life. And this is the first year I looked at the number that they told me I was going to owe. And I was like, go fuck your mother. And, <laughs> It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. And then and then on top of that, every fucking little step of the way, like every like two steps now, they're like, oh, well, if you want that, you should you start and it's like, hey, here's the free version. You get like two steps in. They're like, 
well, now you should upgrade to our, our premium package and it'll allow you to do this. I'm yeah. Like, Word. yeah. It's like 30 they bucks. They want their fucking cut. I go 30 bucks. And, and I'm like, okay, it's like 30 bucks. Fair enough. And I'm doing that. I go like three or four more steps. And they're like, well, you know, if you want to do this thing, <laughs> that's going to be, it's going to be like 40 bucks now. And I go, okay. I go like four more steps. And then I, I, I got to do like the stuff from gas digital. And then it's like, oh, well, if you want to do that form, now it's yeah. going to bring you up to like 50, 60 bucks. And I'm like, hmm, okay. <laughs> and then right as I input that stuff, <laughs> it, it, I, 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 it starts like going up and I'm like, oh, okay. And it's like, well, you know, if you want this other service too, you can, you can pay like $90. And then I was like, you know what? You can suck my cunt turbo tax because now I'm just going to go to a person and have yeah. them deal with this. What a bunch of fucking little cunts, dude. They are so nickel and dimey turbo tax now. Fuck them. I will not use them again. Yeah, it's fucking essentially Dude, like a, a fucking self checkout for and, your taxes. And maybe you have to pay extra. Like maybe I sound dumb, but like it's it it, it, it it where it was really starting to fuck me. It was like it was it was asking me like to and this is the thing. TurboTax is supposed to be for retarded people like me. That's like just put in this basic information. We're gonna figure it the fuck out for you. And it was like, because I, I live basically the first six months in Massachusetts and now the second six months of the year in, of 2020 in New York, it was like, okay, your job that you still work now that's in Massachusetts and stuff, we need you to figure out and allocate what percentage or amount of days that, uh, that, that, that money was earned in Massachusetts versus earned in New York and then base the state tax off that. And it starts getting real like fucking like cunty. And it's thankfully though, I moved basically exactly six months into the year or so. So the first, it's real like 50, it was like 50%. But then it starts going like real fucking refined, like tight shit where like, where I'm like, this is too advanced for turbo tax. Like I'm not paying this money to have to think this much. That's the yeah, whole point of, easy. that's the whole fucking point of turbo tax is I don't have to think cause I'm a dumb fuck. <laughs> And, and they're like, hey, pay us $100, and you still won't understand what's going on. It's like, I'll just pay a human at that point, you <laughs> cunt. <laughs> fucking <laughs> insane. Fuck TurboTax. They can suck my fucking cunt. So now you're going to H&R Block? Yeah, now we're, now we're, now we're, now we're <laughs> going to go to H&R Block in a fucking... No, I don't know. <laughs> We've got a tax guy, apparently. That's the thing I've learned about dating foreign women. We just apparently have a, th- a, a guy for everything now. <laughs> yeah, I... I we got uh, a lawyer now. We've got a fucking tax guy. I fucking paid an Arab guy once to do my taxes. And like, I gave him everything so late that I actually like felt bad. I was like, he's going to think I'm such a fucking asshole. Cause I just gave him this shit. Like so late. And, like I, I feel better off doing turbo. I've probably been doing some shit. Taxes at 1150 before. Yeah. <laughs> you know he you know he gives it he gives it to him one minute late after after when you need to get it in he's like sorry there was a there was a rerun of family guy and it was an episode i really like so <laughs> i get to send it i get stoned um no but it's it'll be fine it's it's just it's some dumb shit but that, that, that that's that's what's annoying is like TurboTax needs to change their model i don't like being the the feeling of like and, and I'm, I'm really not exaggerating, dude. It was like every three steps. It was like, like at first it was like, you get through the first couple steps of free. And then it's like, Oh, okay. If you want like the, and if, I've always paid at least the $30 one. Cause I, I, I do like getting the audit defense just because again, I'm fucking retarded. And I'm like, I could be, I couldn't dude. I might've even been, I could have been, I'm so dumb. I could be doing turbo tax wrong or I might've even like have paid taxes that I didn't need to pay. <laughs> like just because there's some little shit because they it's still so technical like it you know i remember in high school i took business classes and uh, i took like one semester of it enough where they i remember like part of it was like we're gonna give you several examples of people's taxes and like fill out their 1099 for them and all that shit uh and, and it was like fucking uh or 1040 easy whatever it was and shit and it was like that was like not that big of a deal but like that was also they're like, hey, here's just a, a dumb fuck who's going nowhere in their life and staying in their town or plumber. And here's their wages for the year. And they did nothing in vacation or invest at all. Figure that out. And it's like, that's easy. But they, they're they like, hey, we didn't give you here's fucking so and so who has a business and also fucking three jobs and fucking fingers his ass on the weekend twice and pays <laughs> hookers and uh, gambles on dogs. Figure that out. Ugh. 
fucking fuck everything. Fuck our our everything. If you fucked. like work for yourself, they fucking make you pay extra. It's like there's a, a whole fi- different fucking thing. It's there's, such bullshit. There's there's like a fifteen or sixteen percent tax on like self employment, which <sighs> which is like wild. Yeah, wild. It's already harder off for you, so now we're just gonna. They're like, you oh, you want to go off the grid? Suck our dick. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 is this a fee that TurboTax charges you, or is this just no, a- no? That's like, like, um, like any of my work that's technically contract work is it technically gets considered like uh, uh, self. Even if I have like a boss from a job I'm contracting work, like the way it it, it works out is it's still technically considered self employment. Self-employment. But like that has a if it, if it's one of those things that doesn't get tax withheld on it, then it gets con- then it's like a fifteen percent tax. <laughs> and I had one thing that I didn't realize the taxes were not being taken out of it. Oh, and I was like, and I, okay. that, that's part of the reason that it fucked me. And I was like, Ooh, I did not set money aside for that. But you know, it is. Yeah. A- yeah my, um, I had some uh, personal uh, people in my family that had that issue this year too, with you know. their job, not withholding some things when they had asked them to withhold yeah. those things. And now they're fucked. Well, yeah. we'll figure it out. We'll get through it. We'll push through, baby. We'll, we'll get through it. You know, that's the way she goes. You know, what? let's let's fucking let's lighten the mood. Let's do a little good cunt, bad cunt. In a world where there are cunts of all types, two brave cunts, overtime often, and Irish O'Neill deal out justice and decide the ultimate question: good cunt, bad cunt. You and f- them and f- anybody who got a problem with the shit talking cunts. Um, we got we got some great shit today. We got some great stuff. Um, where to start? Where to start? Let's start with the the most breaking thing. Um, they've they've picked the next victim of me too. It is oh, fucking Marilyn Manson, dude. Marilyn Manson. Evan okay. Rachel Wood accuses Marilyn Manson of abuse. Quote, he started grooming me when I was a teenager and horrifically abused me for years, Ms. Wood said on Instagram. Hours later, Mr. Manson's label dropped him. Oh. The actor and singer, Evan Rachel Wood, who has spoken publicly for years about being a survivor of sexual and physical violence, said on Monday that she has been abused by the rock musician Marilyn Manson. The name of my abuser is Brian Warner, also known to the world as Brian as Marilyn Manson. This is Wood wrote in an Instagram post. He started grooming me when I was a teenager, horrifically abused me for years. I was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. I was done living in fear, retaliation, slander, or blackmail. I'm here to expose this dangerous man and call it the the many that have enabled him before he ruins any more lives. I stand with the many victims who will no longer be silent now. End quote. Let me just say before we read any any further and i'm gonna be so bold and if i'm wrong i'll apologize but <clears throat> look at fucking marilyn manson first of all <laughs> if you're a fucking dumb twat mm. approaching marilyn manson with any fucking tension at all you're fucked in the head I don't know if this is this girl, but I know that one girl on her 18th birthday showed up at his doorstep and was like, I'm 18 today. Fuck me. Hell yeah. And so it's like, <laughs> dude, this is, okay, this is what I want to understand. Because if you make a he groomed me argument, then to me, you're telling me that women are too fucking dumb to think for themselves. If you're able to be manipulated that easily, if they groomed you to feel or go the certain way, you have shit parents because where are your parents if you're 18 and fucking Marilyn Manson? Again, I don't know if this is this chick. I'm just fucking for the example. Where are your fucking parents? And secondly, are like this is the thing. If if we're if if we're allowing gr- grooming to be a new thing for an argument, then then women need to admit that they're fucking too dumb to think for themselves. And I'm not, I'm not even trying to be funny, but it's like to to say that you were groomed. That tells me that you are in you are too immature. It tells me you're a dog and deserve to be called a bitch. Yeah, you, exactly. You're too immature to fucking think for yourself and make the decision. I can't be groomed. You know why? Because if something's happening, I don't fucking like I don't do it. 
And 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 the, the idea that like oh well he forced me to no because you know what there's a thing called the police and you can fucking call them and you know what sure it's embarrassing but guess what do you want the police to come fucking stop it or do you want to be abused it's a real fucking simple equation yes it's going to be embarrassing get the fuck over it because it's it's the same thing as guys not being honest with women and being like hey. Yeah, I don't like that. Or like, you know what? No, I don't want to watch that dumb fucking movie. Or hey, you know what? You you talk too much. You're not as pretty as you think. Whatever fucking thing it is, you need to get through to them. It's it's fucking ridiculous. That the idea that you could groom someone, because unless there's some fucking person who both their parents are dead and there's no guardian to fucking steer them in the right direction, I don't want to hear any motherfucking shit about they groomed me. You're choosing to go get fucked by him. You're choosing to have Marilyn Manson around you. There's no, oh, well, I'll ruin your career. Guess what? You go tell someone that he's saying that shit. There's really, there's, he's Marilyn Manson. The press would love to hear someone is that, that Marilyn Manson told, I will fucking ruin your career if you don't fuck me. So the idea that you're waiting till now or trying to throw him under the bus, it's just, I, I just, I don't know, man. I, you know. If that really happened, I'm sorry, but like fucking grow up, say, see something, say something, fucking just yeah. solve it. Why did it take <laughs> until <laughs> just said, see something, say something? Like it's, a, like, it's a, like, like it's the why, MTA subway. Why did it take until she's 33 and no one wants to fuck her anymore until she realizes she was groomed by Marilyn Manson? It seems like it, if she was groomed when she was underage. And she's in her fucking thirties now. Like, why didn't she realize it a little bit earlier? I that's like, she like you sure you're not just making it up now because you want to go yeah. viral with Marilyn Manson? Well, so all right, ready? This is her backstory. She's 33. She was nominated for a global uh, Golden Globe for Westworld. She was one of the voices in Frozen Two. Um, blah 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 blah. Um, okay, her relationship started in 2007 when she was 19 and he was 38. They were briefly engaged. Representatives from uh, Mr. Manson did not respond to several requests for comment on Monday last year. Mr. Manson's representative issued a statement to Metal Hammer and Music Magazine in response to questions about his relationship with Ms. Wood and her testimony before Congress about being a victim of domestic violence. Quote, personal testimony is just that, and we think it's inappropriate to comment on that. Mr. Manson's oh. representatives told them, uh, you then go to talk about Manson's being accused of terrible things uh, by unnamed critics, but offer no guidance on who these critics are and what things are. It's not possible to comment. Several other women have also accused Mr. Manson of having abused them. In 2018, the actress uh, Sherilyn Yee accused Mr. Manson of harassment in a series of tweets that have since been deleted. In September 2020, Dan Cleary said that he had worked as an assistant for several years, wrote on Twitter that he had witnessed the singer being abusive. Lorna Vista, the label that uh, released Marilyn Manson's latest record, said Monday it would stop promoting it, would not work with him in the future. Uh, Mr. Manson supported a California law extended the statute of limitations on domestic abuse. He cut me off from my close friends and family one by one by exhibiting rage in some form or another when I was in contact with them. She said in testimony he had bouts of extreme jealousy, oh. which would often result in him wrecking our home, cornering me in a room and threatening me. She said that she felt terrified for her life and that he broke her down through starvation and sleep deprivation and by threatening to kill her. Okay, again. Really? Starvation? Bitch, you can leave and go to a McDonald's. <laughs> again, like... You're choosing to fucking be there. You could just disappear. You just go like, you could go, I'm going to, none of my shit. This is what it boils down to. And I don't know why women are incapable of doing this. If this was this bad, middle of the night when he's asleep, wherever he goes out to get a fucking soda pop, whatever, you fucking disappear. How important is your shit? Is your life important or is your shit important? You know, we all talk about if a person were to like come rob us, right? We'd be like, oh, I'd fuck him up. The end of the day, guy puts a gun in your face, says, "Give me your wallet." I'm just gonna give him my wallet, dude. I'm not gonna die over my fucking wallet that has no money in it and my ID and a card that I could cancel ten minutes after this dickhead leaves. It's just not worth it. So the idea that this bitch couldn't leave, leave any of her shit behind, or really, you know, you got time to grab stuff and put it in a fucking bag. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. You know what I think it might be? Honestly, crazy to me, dude. The she was probably. She was probably pumped to fuck a rock star back in the day. And now yeah. he's not a rock star anymore. And, she looks at and him. she's like, oh, like yeah. we did a lot of fucked up stuff. And it's like, of course you did. He's Marilyn yeah. Manson. There is yeah. a rumor that went around when we were all kids that he removed his ribs. Rib. So he could suck his own dick. Yeah. Like, 
I just I I like they've kind of joked about this on Skanks even. So it's like I I, I like I kind yeah, of yeah, little bit, but, but it's just it's just it's like it's fucking Marilyn Manson, dude. Like you know what I mean? It, it, like it, it, yeah, good cunt, know. bad cunt. She probably had a good cunt back then, and now it's definitely a bad cunt. I just I I think she's a bad cunt because it's like what does this song now like? You know, I don't want to say that you you I don't want to say like you know you know what you get in the sense that you're like oh you know Marilyn Manson's abusive so what are you doing? But it's like look at him he's a fucking essentially a freak show. It's like I would assume that not all of that is a show. And uh, but, wait, but and it's like wait, I'm supposed to just believe Marilyn that. Marilyn Manson said that he has dreams of he has fantasies about smashing her skull with a sledgehammer. Is that what it says there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so she he texts her 158 <laughs> times one day after a breakup. I have fantasies every day about smashing her skull with a sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, wow, that's trippy. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if, if that helps his case. Yeah, I don't think so either. I say uh, back on your boy Marilyn, first of all, because he's named after a woman, and uh, second of all, um, I mean, I mean. Are we just supposed to just let just these fucking day walkers just fucking walk through fucking streets? Okay, ready? I gotta, I gotta ask one more ignorant question, like, and then we'll this, move on. He's a vampire, right? And, and and I'm yeah, for sure. And I'm like, willing, I'm willing to, it? I'm willing to admit this is an ignorant question, but it, it's always weird to me when I read like raped by a significant other while they were together. Yeah, it's like, dude. Uh, like that doesn't I, make any sense. Like, like, I don't, you know, outside, outside of being like sick or what, like, I like, are are you in a relationship with someone where they don't, they have moments where they don't want to fuck you outside of like not feeling well or yeah. like, you know, yeah. I have food in my, in my mind, mouth or I'm fucking sleeping. Like, it's just that's a, that's such a weird sentiment. Like, I'm not to say it can't happen, but like, I don't really understand. Yeah. Like if I'm, if I'm with my partner, or I want to fuck them. A fucking relationship means you're having sex. Isn't that like yeah. the, the fucking even, definition even, of even it? If, even if it's like a, a I'm busy right now, but you really want to fuck fine. We can fuck like, yeah, you know I mean, it's not like a it's I, I'd have to be so fucking busy to be like flat out like, no, we're <laughs> not fucking. But even still, if it happened, I'm not like you raped me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm retarded. What do I know? Um, yeah, I gotta say, bad cunt. This is goofy to bring this up now. I don't. Yeah, fuck her. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Oh, any closing thoughts? Oh no, nah, just you know, you got a woman's name. Moving on, whatever. <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> um. Fucking. Uh, okay, let's see. let's move on to this next one. <clears throat> uh. ABC News, hundreds deported under Biden, including witness to massacre. President Joe Biden's administration has deported hundreds of people in its early days, despite his campaign pledge to halt most at the beginning of his term. Oh, he's fucking, he's turned his back on your people. Mm, yeah. I've seen uh, this coming. President Joe Biden's administration has deported hundreds of immigrants in its early days, despite his campaign pledge to stop removing people in the U.S. illegally at the beginning of his term. A federal judge last week ordered the Joe Biden administration not to enforce a 100-day uh, moratorium on deportations, but the ruling did not require the government to schedule them. In recent days, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has deported immigrants to at least three countries, 15 people to Jamaica on Thursday, 269 people to Guatemala and Honduras on Friday. More deportation flights were scheduled Monday. It's unclear how many of these people were considered national security or public safety threats or had recent closed uh, across the border illegally, the priority under new guidance of the Department of Homeland Security issued to enforcement agencies that guidance went into effect Monday. Um, in the border city of El Paso, Texas, immigration authorities on Friday deported a woman who had witnessed the 2019 massacre at a Walmart that left 22 people dead. She had agreed to be a witness against the gunman and has met with the local district attorney office, according to her lawyers. She was pulled over Monday for a broken uh, brake light, detained based on previous traffic warrants, then transferred to ICE, which deported her before she could reach her attorney, said Melissa Lopez, executive director of the nonprofit, um, which represents her. Rosa is being identified only by her name because she fears for her safety in Juarez, a city across the U.S., blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so basically, like, you know, 
this this was also my point I had made earlier to that guy I was arguing with about Biden, where it's like, you know, he's coming in being this party of like, we want to let all, 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 you know, illegal or not, like come in, it doesn't matter. It's like, well, they're, they're still going to, but that doesn't really mean what they think it means. It's they're still yeah, going to deport people. Maybe I got to go bad con because it's just, it's hypocritical. If again, if he said, uh, we're going to stop uh, deporting people, but like, you know, sometimes we're still going to need to deport people. It's like, you know, just be honest about what I, you're going to do. I, I mean, what did he say though? I mean, I remember him saying that their um, campaign pledge was to halt that dude. They were all about they, giving amnesty, um, amnesty. Yeah, gotcha. Or, or they're going to send people back home that have been sitting in fucking cages at the border since Trump been fucking in office. I guess so, but that went real hush hush, huh? I bet we're never going to hear about those kids uh, all getting home to their families. I mean, I mean, maybe he's trying to reunite these people with these motherfuckers and send them maybe. Home. And by doing that, sending them back mm-hmm. home. I don't think anybody expected Joe Biden to fucking remember anything. So <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Who we'll remember? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um. All right, let's go to our next one. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's a good one. This this is a great dumb fuck moment. Um, California man arrested after live stream shows two bodies. Uh, Vacaville, California, Vacaville. I don't know. Whatever. Police in California arrested a man suspected of two killings after someone reported seeing a live stream on social media that showed him with a gun and two women lying motionless on the floor of an apartment. Police department said officers went to an apartment complex for formerly homeless veterans and low-income families early Saturday after getting a call from a woman about the live stream. Quote, the video showed the man carrying a handgun and two women lying on the floor, not moving. The apartment said on Facebook, officers found the man had barricaded himself in the apartment and a SWAT team and negotiators were called in. Negotiations worked, so the building was evacuated and officers got inside the apartment with a distraction device and chemical agents. They said uh, there was a brief struggle and a taser was used before the police took the man into custody. Officers initially found two women deceased inside the apartment. The apartment said in the post how they died is under investigation and their identities are being released until their families are notified of the deaths. Raymond Weber, 29, in Sacramento, was being held without no bail on two counts of first-degree murder and was scheduled for a court appearance Tuesday. Uh, it's not known if he had an attorney who could speak on his behalf, and that is all we know. Um, I'm gonna say bad cunt. We gotta find that fucking live stream. <clears throat> bad cunt, because not necessarily because he killed them or not killed them allegedly, but bad cunt because if you do crime on that level and live stream it, you deserve what you get. It would be hilarious if he was using a Zoom background and then every time he like moved his arm, you just see like dead bodies in the corner. <laughs> like, what is that behind you? It's like, oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is just pretty sloppy. Do you remember when the fucking guy killed the news lady on camera? Oh my God, was, yeah. That was awesome. I think she was That's on like wild. a balcony type thing. <laughs> yeah, that was a few years back. That was, that was pretty recent. It was, I feel like it was at least five years ago. It might have been even more than that. Nah. It was classic. Okay, we got we got one yeah. more, and then we'll do our last segment. This one, again, I'm up. I, 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 but lately, I've been on a kick of, like, I just don't watch the articles until we, until we they come here and we watch them and play them, but um, this, this should be pretty fucking magical. Um, Rochester police officer suspended over pepper spraying of a nine-year-old girl. <laughs> There's a video of it? Dog, I think there's a video. I don't know, so I'm fucking I'm crossing my fingers. Not that we want this nine-year-old girl to get pepper sprayed, but like, if you're going to tell me a story like that, I would like to make my own judgment and see the video. I don't know. What was she wearing? What was she coloring? I don't know. An investigation will continue in the city of Rochester after police used pepper spray on a nine-year-old girl. Body camera video of the incident has been released and a warning some may find this video disturbing. Police say one of the girl's parents told officers that she ran away from home and was going to harm herself and others. When officers encountered her, they say she became agitated and started kicking them. And that's when they took her to the ground and eventually handcuffed her in a patrol car. When the girl refused to listen to commands, police say they used an irritant on her. And this happened Friday. The girl has since been released to her family. And that's where we're going to begin. It's never good, though, when it says monster storm, but it is a monster wow, storm. Okay. That a lot of- hey, shut up, bitch. Get off. Get off my podcast. Mm-hmm. Shut up, whore. Shut up, you fucking whore. <laughs> Stop talking. Oh, God. All right, there we go. Um, all right, so nine-year-old girl. 
I guess she was misbehaving. That's what they told the nine-year-old girl. That's pretty uh, hilarious that they couldn't like contain a nine-year-old girl. I mean, we we use a fucking irritant. pepper sprayer. We use an irritant pepper spray. <laughs> Dude, like fucking last night at the fucking rumble, uh Kevin Owens handcuffed Roman Reigns and they couldn't handcuff a fucking nine year old girl. That's fucking embarrassing. It's well, oh, that was after he got put through a foam table. So you gotta, you know, what I'm saying? I thought you didn't watch WWE. You know, you gotta think about <laughs> that. You know what I'm saying? He had a little back problem and he landed on that foam mattress. That's true. So- they could have put her through a table first. That wouldn't have made the news. Pepper spray sounds like bad. You know what I mean? They're like table broke. Look, this is the thing, right? Cops are dickheads. But, mm-hmm. and I say that with one of my best friends being a cop, but if you are polite and respectful throughout it, no matter how hard you're getting fucked, it's always just going to be better. I know, I know a cop once that, that he, he was driving and he saw a car had like gone off the road basically from clearly drunk driving. And the guy was like so nice and everything. And he was like, you know what? He's like, I'm not going to ruin this guy's life. And he fucking, he literally drove the, he was like, hop in the back, buddy. He's like, and he just drove him home. And he was like, it's fine. Like, we won't, won't say anything. I'm going to give you a pass this time. He's like, I'm not going to fuck your life up. But he's like, for sure, if I catch you again, that you're going to get fucked. But he's like, but you know what I mean? It's like, uh, so I just, I feel like, like even I've been put in handcuffs by a cop pulled over and they searched my car and put me through a whole bunch of shit. They took my knives. They gave me my weed back though. You know what? I was very not, I I gave, they were like, you got any drugs on you? And they asked me, I go, yeah, I got a little bit of weed. I I was, I just, I was straight up with them. And then I was just honest and I was, I was polite and they let me go. I still thought that they should have burned alive. I still should have thought they burned alive and their whole family should have fucking, you know, got AIDS. But at the end of the day, it's, you, you just a cop is so power trippy it's like the idea that you're going to talk your way out of it or like argue your way out of it like the, if you start arguing with a cop they're going to go out of their way to make sure that you get arrested because they're like you're making my job hard so i just yeah. like the more you be polite <laughs> i no, i don't disagree i don't i i'm sure but but oh can you honestly say in all of your interactions with a cop there's been zero attitude Hmm. Um, I mean, I mean, like, like an annoying, I gave them an some annoying shit zero. one time when I knew I was in the right, though. I when I when I'm in the right, they get shit. They gotta get shit. <laughs> oh no, hundred percent, dude. If I have shit. no drugs on me and a cop starts giving me attitude, I go, ooh. I don't give a fuck. If I I I can have three pounds mm. on me. If it's an illegal search, I'm giving them shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? I'll, no, no, no. I'll I'll still do that if it's if it's I I, I but but I but I'm very like. Hey man, like I officer, I understand you're trying to do your job, but not for nothing. You're gonna need a warrant if you want to get my car. Well, That's listen, just, no, going I, down. I mean, and I'm they could be like, "Oh, you want to play that game?" And I go, "Respectfully, sir. Yes, I, I'm sorry. That's the way the law is, and I know you don't want to get in, in in any kind of trouble for like missteps or stuff like that. So I just I want to make sure it's by the books. If that's really what you want to do, then yeah, I guess I guess we're gonna be sitting here while you get that warrant." I mean, can we can we evaluate these police? In my head, in my head, I'm like stab him in the fucking eye. Fuck this cunt. But I just I know that if anything other than just like, yes, sir, what can I get you is just going to be met with fucking shittiness. Yeah, I always just not a justification. It's not a justification. They're still cunt. But I turn on the lights in my car if it's at night so they can see everything. They know I'm not trying to hide everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, how are you? I've I've like gotten let off twice at the light next when to I my apartment because I, I I I like always just fucking run the light near my apartment and then they always pull me over. I've got pulled over there twice and I'm like, sorry, I fucking live right here, you know. And they're like, all right, you can just go. Yeah, but you know, yeah. I, the cops yeah. are. Always- Wait, these cops, bro, because like, how, how, like, how could you not restrain a nine-year-old girl? That, that's my thing. That's where I'm struggling. I know, like a nine-year-old. That's just resistant. embarrassing. At the same time, like, if, if anytime a cop calls like multiple cops, it's, just back, that bitch. Like, it's a nine-year-old. Bro. Fucking, cho- give him the fucking last ride. That like, bitch could yeah. be a security guard at a high school right now. You're like, oh, I know. oh ma'am, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to listen, ma'am. Okay, well, fucking DDT. Fucking what kind black. of strength did she have? I'm really pissed it was blurred out because I was really wondering if she was black or white the whole time, and then her face was fucking blurred out, so you yeah. you couldn't tell. I found a white. 
I it's, she's white. I would I'm I would probably. say I would say white yeah. because white people in general I feel like feel more comfortable around cops. So I feel like that a lot of them feel yeah. like you see a lot of those like like it's like those crazy videos where like a, a child a, a son or a daughter is getting arrested and the parents are like no that's my son you can't arrest and it's like oh well them them being your son is irrelevant to them getting arrested right now man <laughs> that, yeah. that just because they're meanwhile gonna... black parents are telling their kids uh don't fuck with the cops yeah. So, yeah. None of those look, no cops matter what, must it's fucked up. The cops are cons. Because I, I fucking swear if, if any of those cops had kids, I mean, I fucking don't have kids, but I would imagine if you had kids, you know how to restrain a nine year old girl. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? So I got this but, is the thing. I got to give bad cunt to the cops because if you can't, one person, one cop can't su- suppress a nine year old. I don't care how jacked, whatever. You're a bad cunt. Don't yeah. be a cop. That, that's, that's fucking day one training. Suppress a nine year old. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um, all right, let's move on to our last segment. Am I gross? Mom, do you ever feel not so fresh down there? No. There must be something wrong with you. Really? Yeah. I've never had that problem, and I don't know any woman who has. Motherfucker! Bite off his penis. Oh my god! Oh my god! I come all over my face. And you're like, what the fuck is eco sex? Tell me all you dance music. All right, am I gross? That's our, uh, you know, the segment where Davin, do you, you've been on several times, but I'm, I'm curious, maybe in COVID or so, do you have anything new that's weird or gross that you've been doing? Uh, not really, man. I kind of try to like avoid gross stuff. The only time I actually wear a mask is when I'm emptying my cat's litter box. It's Fair like, enough. yeah, it, it actually helps. It's actually, I've, I've started move. to. Uh, especially like today when it's snowing, I, when I'm just walking down the street, I haven't necessarily been wearing a mask every time, like, especially if it's like later at night, if it's like during the day and there's people out, I wear one. Um, I still wear yeah. one like, on a store and shit, but like, yeah, in stores you have to, or else you're going to get in fucking trouble. I, I walked back, I walked back from the studio the other night at like 8 PM and I was like, I was like, it's cold and shit. I was like, yeah. later I was like, I'm not wearing a mask. Suck a dick. Yeah, fuck that. But um hmm, i'm trying to think if there's anything weird or gross i've been doing lately i don't think so i'm trying to think of something um you watch the oil rumble huh? <laughs> oh it's not gross but i've started what did you say <laughs> he watched the oil rumble that's what he watched the royal he's a hater <laughs> it's, not, it's not it's not gross but i started I, i've done two sessions of acupuncture Tried that out. It's, That's scary, man. I'm fucking scared of needles pretty bad. You know what? I dude, I this used to this, have a fucking big phobia of needles. I used to have this a thing will get acupuncture, but won't get the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, be, I, I I didn't say I won't get the vaccine. I just want other people to take it first and make sure no one's fucking growing arms and shit. I'm not gonna three hundred thousand people took it yesterday in fucking New York. Wake Fuck up, motherfucker. Okay, okay. So I'll give shit. it a week or two, and then I'll probably like you know, let's see what happens with it. It's been it's been like two months. Come on, it's mm, been a month. I don't know. My mom got the vaccine. She got real fucking sick for a couple of days. She's good now, oh, but fuck that. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll be fine, but you know, like I said, I'm, just, I'm not gonna be the first batch. Let the other fucking You're dickheads take it. The other You're dickheads take it. The it. fucking sheet, bro. Um, I'm good. I, I think I'd honestly rather get COVID than get the vaccine. <laughs> I know oh. people who got COVID and they were just like a man of culture. Okay, I see. <laughs> um, man of culture. But uh, honestly, dude, I, I thought I would. I used to have a big phobia of needles and I thought that I would never get to the point of acupuncture. I never thought I'd get to the point of doing like tattoos and shit, but I, tattoos were fine. Uh, acupuncture, I didn't realize this. It's not really actually needles. Like it, it doesn't. Like it penetrates your skin, but it's such a it's such a quick little like like it's not it's like a thing where it's not like actually puncturing your skin or some weird thing. Like it's not going deep or anything like that. It just kind of like lightly like sits there. It's not it's really not like bad at all. The the weirdest thing about it is like the the only weird thing I've had is like when they do the one that goes like right below my like left knee or so, it sends this weird sort of like long, dull ache in my shin. And it's like just kind of weird where you're kind of like, oh, it's kind of like uncomfortable. It's not painful, but you're just like, it's a weird feeling. Fuck that. I would but maybe get you, acupuncture if they also ready? give you a happy ending. Ready? I'll give you. But this is, well, you okay. She, she puts one in my stomach. She got to pull the like, pants down like an inch. And I'm always like, oh. Yeah, he, 
but, you've, got to, you've got to slip her some more money. I, I've been having it. like arthritis -y kind of things in my fingers like the last like two months or so. And and uh, they've been doing it in my fucking hand, man, dude. I haven't been feeling it. It feels great. They'd be like fucking they put like six or seven in my fucking hand. You just lay there in like a massage chair for like 20 minutes while they're in there and you sit back. They got relaxing music. They got a TV playing like goofy. Did like they do the neck? They do the neck? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do the neck. This last one, she the most recent one, she did like three in each of my ears too wow oh the, the the one that really fucks you up is at the end they do your traps and they, they like they have you sit up and then she like she puts this is probably the one that maybe goes the deepest or whatever but she it feels like she stabs in like this little fucking knot that's like sits like right back here and she's like manipulating the muscle and like stabbing around in there and it's like Ugh. but it's like after like a day oh. after you feel like fucking great but it's like while it's happening you're like oh that's not really fun <laughs> Yeah, I could only do it if they also jerk you off to take your mind off the fact there are a bunch of needles in you. You ever, you ever had a happy ending? No, I mean, really, not like professionally. You know? <laughs> I, let me tell you, I I know a place in Brighton. <laughs> oh hell yeah! In fact, this isn't really. I don't even live there anymore. Like, but but you can you can. There's a there's there's definitely a massage place that is right near a Dunkin Donuts right in Brighton <laughs> and they for sure do it. Hell yeah. I know that, that there's a place in Norwood that someone told me about that's like closer to me. Oh, there I, you go. I yeah. think they might've got in trouble. This, this but, one's real low key. Hell yeah. I might have to check it out. You just walk in and up, you just up front and let them know, like, I I'm going to pay the extra for extra wink, wink now. Yeah. <laughs> And then like, somebody yeah. got Kraft's number. Maybe we can call him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, why don't we do a round of plugs before we wrap up? Uh, Dab, what do you what do you got to plug? Uh, you can do Dab Comedy Network on YouTube. That's like my podcast and vlogs and shit. And then Dab and Aladdin on Instagram and uh, Dab and Aladdin dot com for all my fucking swords. Buy those. Oh well, yeah, Mr. Overtime Off. Yeah. And what do you got to plug, buddy? Uh, the website over time often dot com. Fucking find the music there on YouTube and the links are for social media on there too. And you can find me here every week on STC Word. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, you can follow me on all social media at it's Irish O'Neill. Like, share, subscribe this podcast, STC Podcast, Shit Talking Cunts. We're on all major podcasting platforms, except for apparently Google Podcasts, because they're a bunch of faggot twats. That for over a year still don't want to accept our podcast i don't know why they won't tell me what the issue is they haven't even gone like we're rejected it they just make it sound like it's just in limbo i hate them they can suck Censorship. a fuck fuck all these fucking non-believers they can suck my ass um you can buy my band dane sleeves album at danesleeve.bandcamp.com that's d-a-i-n-s-l-e-i-f danesleeve.bandcamp.com also check out um dragon fire i think I think it's dragonfire.bandcamp.com. That's uh, their group of guys, uh, people that musicians. I did vocals and mixed their album. Uh, and also, you can, um, if you want candles, Valentine's Day is coming up. If you want candles and stuff like that, you can uh, go to Buy Moosh and get uh, uh, what? Oh, I'll go to Ani Moosh Media. Uh, dot com and you can get fucking candles and shit. Buy candles for your bitches, guys. You can, <laughs> bitches love candles. Women are goofy. Um, that's been shit talking cunts, guys. Thanks for fucking hanging out. Um, thank we'll you for having me, dude. It's always a pleasure to have the champ fucking on board Hell with us. Yeah. Um, we'll Appreciate be back next you. week. Thanks for hanging Appreciate out. You. Stay wet, cunts. Peace. <laughs>